Welcome to the C17 STL Solutions by Jack Galowich, a video course by Pact Publishing. I am Andy Morris, and I will be Jack X's voice for this course. Jack Galowich obtained his Master of Science in Electrical Engineering Computer Engineering at RWTH Aachen University, Germany. While at university, he enjoyed working as a student assistant in teaching and research, and he participated in several scientific publications. During and after his studies, he worked as a freelancer and implemented applications as well as kernel drivers in C and C++, touching various areas including 3D graphics programming, databases, network communication, and physics simulation. In recent years, he has been programming performance and security-sensitive microkernel operating systems for Intel x86 virtualization at Intel and FireEye at Braunschweig, Germany. He has a strong passion for modern C++ implementations of low-level software, and he tries hard to combine high performance with an elegant coding style. Learning purely functional programming in Haskell in recent years triggered his drive to implement generic code with the aid of metaprogramming. So now, let's have a look at what we've got in store for this course in detail. Section 1. STL Containers explains how the STL's rich variety of container data structures got some upgrades with C++17. After having a look at the entire collection of the different containers, we will have a closer look on the new additions they got. Section 2. Iterators, which are an extremely important abstraction as they are the glue between the STL's algorithms and the container data structures whenever they are combined. We are going to roll up the whole iterator concept from the ground to learn how to put them to the best use in all our programs. Section 3 Lambda Expressions explores lambda expressions which allow for some very interesting programming patterns. Inspired by purely functional programming languages, lambda expressions which were first introduced in C11 got some new features with C14 and C17. Section 4, STL Algorithm Basics, introduces the basics of the STL's standard algorithms that are easy to use, very performant, well-tested, and highly generic. We will learn how to use them so we can be productive by concentrating on solutions instead of wasting time reinventing the wheel. Section 5, Advanced Use of STL Algorithms, demonstrates how to combine the STL's basic algorithms in order to compose more complex ones in clean ways without code duplication. In this section, we will be creative and stick tightly to the STL while implementing solutions to more complex problems, and we will learn how to combine existing algorithms to create new ones that really fit our needs. Section 6, Strings, Stream Classes and Regular Expressions, provides a detailed overview over the STL's powerful classes around strings, generic I.O. streaming, and regular expressions. We will have an in-depth look into these parts of the STL. Section 7, Utility Classes, explains the STL ways of generating random numbers, taking and measuring the time, managing dynamic memory, elegantly signalizing error conditions and more. We will have a look at the extremely useful and portable utility classes that the C++ STL provides for such tasks and introduce the brand new ones that came with C++17. Section 8, Parallelism and Concurrency showcases the existing C++ extensions for parallelism and concurrency which became very important topics at the time we entered the era of multi-core processors. First C++11 and then C++17 came with great additions that are of an enormous help whenever we need to implement programs that run on multiple cores and do things concurrently. So what are we waiting for? Let's begin this journey together and I hope you'll enjoy the ride!